So I'll probably start with uh, the one that's been in the news more lately, and that would be Getter. So let me show you Getter. That would be to the right of your screen. And uh, this is, uh, this is uh, I've been here since July 2021. It says I wasn't active until like later in the year uh, 2021. Uh, I have been more active lately because uh, some names that have jumped up on this. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So it, it's basically a Twitter clone. Uh, at, it, depending on how you uh, adjust it, you'll have home search your profile notifications and the options that are on the side and stuff like that so it's pretty straightforward the app looks and feels like this as what you see is what you get basically um and for the most part it does feel like uh twitter now with uh just like other ones you can do a dark mode you notice this don't want to have on white um, this dark mode is more of a more of a blue color you know what i, I guess i'll just show you i'll probably just edit so you guys can see um, this is their so-called dark mode. It doesn't really look all that dark, but it, if you would slap a Twitter label on this, I think people will be none the wiser. But because of the accounts that I follow here, um, this is why I utilize it in some way. Some of these are available on these other platforms, just not as active or haven't been active in quite some time. So it is here. There's the, the whole quote, tweeting or whatever. But I guess the ones I should show you would be what's going on with, uh, I guess this is the controversy part, right? Um, it, Joe Rogan. So this is something that you do not see on the app if you use it only on the app. It'll tell you how many getter followers and how many total followers. This is because of the Twitter followers. See right there, it says Twitter. Joe Rogan has 7.8 million followers from Twitter. This became a controversy because as soon as Joe Rogan uh, came on the platform, he had like 8.9 million followers. Like, whoa, so many people wanted to really follow this guy. But what ended up happening was that, like, wait a minute, are you guys just inflating these things? Because there aren't that many users on Getter in the first place. So no, there aren't. So the realistic figure is 1.2 million Getter followers for Joe Rogan, um, plus his Twitter followers of 7.8, which gives him a total of nine. Uh, there are... Uh, videos that he has put like to show the activity for example this is one post that he made here on getter the other ones tend to be um like i guess the the mirroring of the twitter post that are showing up over here and that's the excuse that getter was using to say that um they're cross-platform posting and that's one thing that uh, the, the, for which is that they use the excuse that like, oh, I wanted to show the actual reach that they have. So when you post on Getter, it'll automatically post to your Facebook or Twitter or whatever it is. I never heard about that, but I saw some some articles. So that's what they're, that's the excuse they were using for why they're using that way. But that didn't mean that wasn't going to come without some controversy because like, why did you guys implement it in this way that uh, caused this to happen? Now, there are more controversies to Getter that are going on. One that I will not address is with respects to who's the one uh, bankrolling this thing, which is supposed to be um, a, a, a Chinese billionaire or whoever he is. Uh, just because you're Chinese doesn't make you CCP. Uh, but uh, some people are just labeling people like that. It's like, you know that the, the most outspoken people against the Communist Party of China are the Chinese that escaped that uh that place so uh, i i will not address that and people have complained about censorship on partner they complain about censorship on getter uh there's a big controversy and this is what i want to circle to not circle back but circle to with respects to uh let's see if he pops up uh elijah schaefer elijah schaefer was recently claiming that he was being shadow banded on or shadow banned here on getter because he was he was asking why is it that uh first america patriots have been um banned from getter without uh, any explanation as to what terms of service items they offended and and the high point or the main point here would be nick fuentes not a fan of the guy don't care about him um so you could find him on gap you could find him on twitter but you can't find him on getter so like huh like you can't. And Elijah Schaefer, who works for the Blaze, Blaze TV, um, was uh, looking into it. Well, he was claiming, and other places like the Post Millennial and I think the Daily um, Daily Mail, they were covering this story uh, because Elijah uh, was, was talking about it. And let's see, did he post anything about it? Because, uh, well, Elijah also mentioned that his entire account on Telegram was also um, restricted. I'm not on Telegram for that reason because that's just... When I... I I was going to be a part of the beta team for Telegram many years ago when they were launching for BlackBerry, but uh, I didn't. And I had my concerns about them eventually uh, going the way of big tech, 
which I believe that they have um, because they have been silencing others, but not everyone for some reason. So I don't know what the whole deal is there. But in this case right here, um, uh, it's interesting. This is a post from Elijah Schaefer, January 10th. It's interesting that Joe Rogan is also suspicious of Getter Official. This is uh, not the actual name of the account. So this is Elijah accidentally typing in Getter Official. That's the name of the account, Getter Official, but it's called at Getter. Um, uh, after learning about the Chinese funding, follower inflation, yes, blocking of political dissidents they agree with, and that was with respect to um, the uh, what happened with Nick Fuentes, uh, Michelle Malcolm, and, uh, and Lauren Wazitsky, if you're familiar with them, they, they're they on Getter that were coming out trying to defend Nick and trying to get answers for why he was banned. Um, they're supposed to talk that maybe Steve Bannon was the one that got him banned, uh, Jason, Jason Miller. The, there really isn't an answer to all this, and due to that, uh, Elijah got shadow banned and he was complaining about it on Twitter. So on Twitter, he was complaining about him being less free on Getter. And Joe uh, went into that effect. I'm not going to play the video. But uh, the other thing that was an issue with leftist dog whistles in the terms of service. Yes, when you're going to filter out hate speech, hate speech according to who, that's what Silicon Valley did and look at the crackdown that they made. Um, and then Democrat background of the staff, like what? So that's always going to be a concern. And here's the big one. Amazon Web Services servers investigation continues, as in Amazon Web Services is the one that runs Getter, the very one that the platform uh, partner. So that means that in order for Getter to exist on these, uh, the way it does and how fluid it is, it has to basically be in cahoots with big tech. And there's, to me, the big one were the reports that they are spying for Google and Facebook and Twitter. If that is true, because that's recently that I found out about, I'm done with Getter. I've already had my concerns about Getter. But like that one, that's a big one. That's why I immediately deleted my Android app. Getter, not cool. I don't like that. I even uh, requoted this post. That's why it's here because um, answers, a que there are questions that need to be answered. And that is not one that, that's cool. But uh, as I explained that I, I follow more on Getter, more accounts on Getter and on Parler is because that's where people that I used to follow on Twitter are active. That's why I'm there and I'm following them. I do all of this just so I don't have to be on Twitter. So guess which one's the first to land for Truth Social? Where is all the advertisement coming from? The Apple App Store. What's that tell you already, folks? If you've been censored on Getter, if you've been censored on Parler when using an Apple app, or on Minds if you find yourself there, you're going to be censored on Truth Social. That's just the truth. Because they all adopted the terms of service from Apple. That's the agreement they made. They bent the knee to make that happen. Of all of these, the only one that has it is Gap.